How do you get a pupil who, say, got 10% attendance, perhaps at primary, comes to the gateway and it trans transforms into 90%? How do you do that? How do we do it here? What we like to do is pull the parents in, or call the parents in, before transition. So we're going from someone from primary coming into year seven. So we talk with the primary schools and we pull the parent into us for a chat. It's an informal chat. We just sit around the table, parent goes over the issues that she's had or the child's had at primary school, and then we put things into place here. We have learning mentors, we have a liaison officer that works with multi-agencies, um, we have a head of college, we have an inclusion leader, so we have a pastoral support plan put in place for that child. Seeing where the problems were in school, the nervousness that they might have had at primary, have they got friends, a friend base, can we buddy them up here in secondary school when they start in year seven? Um, so then that gives them a feel for peer pressure, so they've got a peer group as well, so they're getting to know people within the area. Um, and it's just opening a line of communication with the parent and saying that we're here, what experience these that she may have had at school herself, because some of these apprehensions are from the parents that go on to the child as well and trying to reassure that from the old days of when I went to school, that you went in, you sat down, you learned, if you had issues of bullying, you was expected to get on with it. Whereas here at the academy, we work closely with the family and we put in a system for them to say, right, you can go and speak to the inclusion leader or you can come and talk to us. Um, if there's problems outside of school, right, what other agencies can we get involved to help support the family? So there's lots more there going on, support-wise. And it doesn't sound like it's, it's not one size fits all. No, no, it's each parent or each child, it's, dif it's different. Different scenarios might mean different things, and it's based around going to a group meeting. I mean, I'm part of a team of 40 people, um, so I don't just make decisions, but we sit around a table once a week and we bring these children to the table. and We, t we talk about them and saying what is best for those children. Um, what, what help do they need? Do they le need a learning mentor? Do they need a counsellor? You know, there might be issues, unforeseen circumstances at home that they can't talk about, whereas we have that one-to-one -one that we can give the children. And often the mechanics could be, sometimes you hear about, where the child actually gets to the school gates. Yep, yep. You come out. Yes, I go and do home visits. Parents, we all have, within our team, we all have work mobiles. I leave mine on 24-7, so if any parent needs me, they know they can contact me. And it could be at half past seven in the morning, I can't get my child up, she's refusing or he's refusing, and me and my colleague PC Kel will go and do a home visit, and we will bring them back into school. And might bring them back in, give them a cup of tea, a biscuit, calm their nerves. They don't know why they're feeling anxious or nervous sometimes coming to school. And we just set them up and off they go and off they go for the day and then we don't tend to see them. Are you reflecting on your practice all the time? Are you, are you changing and improving yep. what you do? Yeah, we look at it weekly um, within my team. You know, we look at things, how can we improve things? What can we bring to the table to help us improve it? And one of the things is us doing a home visit. Um, people call us the school board, we're not, we're just two people that work in the academy that care for the kids and want them to succeed in their lives. Does it involve, it's very hard, as I mm. said, sometimes as a journalist when you go to court and there are truancy cases, yep. and it's sometimes you, it's very hard, to, you often think there's just a mum on her own, yep. and you feel very sympathetic, and I'm thinking, am I being a wet liberal here? Is there a time when there has to be a lot of tough love? Yes. Yeah, there are, there are, as again, each case is individual. There are some parents that blatantly, blatantly refuse to send their children to school. They don't see the need of an education. Um, it didn't benefit them, so it's not going to benefit their children. So yeah, each case is looked at individually, individually I can't say it, um, to sort of make sure, you know, they get the right help. And court is the very, very last thing that we want. You know, we don't want to see our parents in court. We want to help them work together to strive to go and have a future for themselves.